This video focuses on a useful little trick for when using CSS custom properties and SAS. So we have four divs, two with a class of A, two with a class of B. They all have dimensions and they have a background and on hover on the first two they get rotated. But now let's say we want the second one, the even one, uh, to be scaled before anything else. So um, the even means nth child to n and we have scale here and let's say of 0.5 and now it's scaled down but the hover doesn't work anymore so let's fix that and we're going to have this and let's take the scale and put it in front of the rotation because that's what we actually want on hover and as you can see it all works as intended now but we have the scale twice we have the rotate twice and we can use a custom property for each one of them but we still have the hover twice and that's some something we don't want so now let's set a base transform so base and this is going to be nothing this is a valid value in css but since we're using sas we're going to get an error so we need to get around it by using the unquote sas function unquote of space which is perfectly valid so now we're going to set the transform to this base value so um base here and um the base for the even one is going to be the scale so this is the base and um, we take the base and we need it in front of the rotate on the hover and this solves all our problems and it's compact code and really good so now let's see what happens for other properties let's say box shadow so we copy paste and we replace transform with box shadow and we replace this rotate here with uh, 2m x offset, 0y offset, dipping, this works. And um, for the second one, we're going to have 0x offset, 2m y offset. And this gives us that shadow. But if we hover it, we get this blurry thing, which actually makes sense because here, if we replace the base with this, then this means 0x offset. 2m y offset 2m blur which is what we get so what we really want is to have a comma there but if we have a comma there this works but here we have something like this we also have the black shadow which we don't want so let's revert to what we had before and try it out like this it works uh, for the second one but for the first one ha nothing happens and that's because the base is just nothing it's just a space and we can't have nothing than coma. That doesn't work. So what we're going to do here is instead of coma, use a separator. And this separator is going to be initially the same thing, unquote of a space. So this uh, gives us our box shadow. And here the separator is going to be again is going to be unquote but this time not of space it's going to be unquote of coma so this works for the first one it works for the second one and it's exactly what we wanted so um, this is what i wanted to show you and if you have any more ideas for other videos just drop them in the comments or on twitter and until next time